Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel and I'm really sorry that I'm uploading a vlog after almost three months. I'm sorry I couldn't make time. I was at home on leave this time. A lot of jobs and renovations back home. I'm sure most of you seamen can relate to me. Time with family is certainly important. And now I realize that I've reached 1000 subscribers. So thank you very much. And you know, I, I never expected this this quick. It's been less than six months from maybe 200 subscribers to a thousand. I really like that and you know that he's gonna keep me going even further. So today I'm going to discuss, I'm back on board, back on my ethane ships, Maggie engines. So today uh, is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna show you a basic uh, pressure test and how do I figure out a leak in the GIV con connection on the cylinder head or the leak in the GIV sleeve. The sleeve is, is just a sleeve that is between the cylinder head and the GIV. So that simple reason that, you know, why would you want the GIV to get stuck on the cylinder head and then damage the whole thing? If this ever happens, so it's just the sleeve that will get damaged. You chuck the sleeve out, new sleeve, new seal rings, and we can do that. So always uh, major components have sleeves in between them that is like a sacrificial piece. So today I'll show you how we pull, first we detect the leak, then we pull out the sleeve, we replace the seal rings on the sleeve with special kind, I mean the original by the maker by man BMW, and we insert it back and then we quickly insert the GIV. Pretty simple. Sounds simple? Let's go. Like I tell you guys before, I can't give you extracts from the manual, you know. So what I tell you is just I'm guiding you, probably easing out the manual for you guys because many of you will read it and do things for the first time. So I'm just easing out the manual. So that's just like the GIV. And as I scroll down, yeah, this is what we plan to do. This is the sleeve and the thrush piece that, that we will take off. This is the thrust collar that's before the sleeve. So this is the sleeve, where, which is around the GIV. So gas comes through the cylinder bore, through the sleeve, into the GIV and straight into the cylinder head through the nozzle. So this is what we need to take off. These are the two seals that we'll be replacing. This is the pocket that you see. And yeah, so this is pretty much, I've read through the manual. My guys have read through the manual. And of course, we've got a copy of the manual with us. We've got it on our phone with us. And then once we do all of that, put the new stuff in, put the new seal, the new sleeve in, put the thrush collar in, and then the GIV itself. So let's see how it's done. I hope you're ready. So straight down into the engine room. That's the gas block that you see on the cylinder head. That is the GIV, the top part of the GIV. Those are the five special pipes. I'll explain that on another video. And one of these pipes that is used for detection of leaks in case any of the sleeve or the GIV, the ceiling face is leaking. So we've already raised the pressure and you can see I put my finger there. The leak there is quite prominent so you can easily tell the flow of gas from that point. And in case, you know, the leak is too minor and not easy to detect, you can just put a pipe, dip it in a water bath, like a small bottle, and it'll bubble off. So you see the leak here. The water was not bubbling. It was just gushing out. We're done with that. And now time to take off the sleeve. The GIV has already been taken off. So that's the tool that we use to take off the thrust piece. So the tool has pin. It's like a pin wrench that sits onto the thrust piece. Now comes in the big gun. This is the torque multiplier. It has a torque multiplication factor of about 5.2. So I can use maybe 200 and I get 200 into 5.2, that amount of torque. This one is specially used in places where you can't use big torque wrenches because of the space constraint. And also, it just makes work easier. So put in the torque multiplier, loosen that guy. Now. Yes, so this is your thrush piece. You can see it's a little dirty and all of that. Yeah, it has to be cleaned. So it's going to go to the workshop, get cleaned, get ready to go in. This is the pocket. As you see, the small part with two holes, that is your sleeve. We're putting in two studs, M6 studs. 
just shaking off loosening the sleeve and it should come off if it doesn't come off there's another way you need to read the manual for that you can see that see that white part that's one seal ring that's damaged and I think another one is stuck inside the pocket yes so this is the one that is stuck inside the pocket the pocket clean ready this is the sleeve putting onto the sleeve onto the workshop they are special PTFE sleeves for this gas at 400 bar they are reinforced with a spring and the manual tells us that we need to use silicon grease at the sealing faces which helps the sealing face last longer silicon grease or sometimes you call it as white grease or white silicon grease have a look at the seals very carefully you do not use any scratches abrasives and yes like I said the manual page has to be there yo so that's my what is it yes that's right so thrust piece it's not new one it's cleaned and ready the pocket looks clean and ready blown with fresh air I mean compressed air of course so let's put in the sleeve very carefully it should go in concentrically just push it in you can feel it gone in all right now we take off those two studs the mounting studs that we use the o-ring that's there inside the cylinder head in that pocket that goes outside of your thrust bush the thrust piece putting in the thrust piece along outside of the thrust piece we use molly coat remember use molly coat so tighten it in torque required 1500 newton meter but with the torque multiplier we just need to use 286 that's the advantage yeah where did i get 286 that's not my magic number that's the number that's there on the certificate of the torque multiplier that's the click noise i've been waiting for we're done so picking up the torque multiplier picking up the tools picking up the pin wrench for the thrust bush after that let's see we put in the giv and yes then these guys will put in all the pipes connect the pipes we'll raise up the pressure do the pressure test again and i'm sure this time we're good to go